Okay, in the last video, we had this problem. Y, e to the x, y, cosine 2x, minus 2, e to the x, y, sine of 2x, plus 2x dx added to x e to the x y cosine 2x minus 3 dy equals 0. <clears throat> In this case we have m and n and for us to have an exact equation, we have to have dm dy equal to dn dx. And when we do that, we are taking the derivative, partial derivative of this factor. Well, first off, we divide through, divide the equation through by dx so that we have dy dx and we have our terms uh, separated and now we have the partial derivative uh, with respect to y against our first term m and this when you take that derivative you end up with uh, e to the x, y, cosine to x plus x, y, e to the x, y, cosine to x minus 2x, e to the x, y sine of 2x. <clears throat> now if you take the partial derivative with respect to x of x e to the x y, it's a little more complex with this term, cosine of 2x minus 3. And this, if we hold x on this and we take the derivative of e to the x so that would be let's uh, take the derivative of e to the x so that would be y e to the x y um, cosine 2x minus e to the or minus 2 e to the x y uh, sine of 2x and then this and now when you multiply through we have e to the x, y, cosine 2x, bring that out front, plus x, y, e to the x, y, cosine 2x, minus 2x, e to the x, y, sine of 2x. And now we see that the two terms, that the two partial derivatives 
of the two terms are equal. They're exactly the same, so we have an exact equation. So dm dy d, uh, d dy with respect to m is equal to d dx with respect to n, and we have an exact equation. So now all we have to do, <laughs> all we have to do is find the function f of x, y, that's equal to c, and that would be equal to y e to the x, y, cos 2x, let's bracket that, minus 2e to the x, y, sine of 2x plus 2x dx plus h of y. And we, in our previous videos, we showed that this function is analogous to the arbitrary constant of integration. And we also have shown that h prime of y is equal to x e to the x y cosine 2 x minus 3 minus the partial derivative of y with respect to y of y e to the x, y, cosine 2x minus 2x e to the x, y, sine of 2x plus 2x dx. And when you take that partial derivative, we have x e to the x, y, cosine 2x minus 3 minus, now we have e to the x, y, cos 2x plus x, y, e to the x, y, cos 2x minus, whoops, uh, I made a mistake, no, 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 I did not, um, what I did, <laughs> what I did was, uh, I made a mistake here, it's easy to do. I took the derivative already. That's the that's the um, function. So then now I have 2x e to the x y sine of 2x dx. You have to be really, really careful with your accounting. Uh, otherwise, you'll get something wrong. It's so easy when you have a problem with so many terms, so many variables that we're dealing with, um, arguments that we're dealing with, uh, to get our accounting wrong. But now we, we have it. We have this equation and this equation we have to solve. And so how do we do that? Those are complicated looking equations. Well, it's not as bad as we think. There's some 
tricks to this problem that we, well, not exactly tricks, but observations that we can make uh, with this problem so that we can simplify our endeavor because those are, those are um, pretty complex looking integrals that we have to solve both for f and for h prime. So let's uh, get to it. What we're, what we're going to have to do in order to solve this is integration by parts. And when we do integration by parts, um, one, of the, one of the key factors or terms in the integration that we would like to know is what is the integral of e to the x, y, cosine 2x dx? Because that shows up in both of our integrals. And, uh, and in so doing, that, that's going to be a, a key integration that we need to solve. So let's just take a look at that and see where it gets us. So, uh, if we choose u, again, integrating by parts is all about choosing the right functions to differentiate with respect to x. So we have y e to the x y dx and if we choose v to be sine of 2x dv equals uh, 2 cosine of 2x dx and then we just use our formula for integrating by parts we end up with we end up with uh, let's see what we end up with we end up with e to the x y times sine of 2x is equal to 2 e to the x y cosine 2x dx plus y e to the x y sine of 2x dx. So, uh, yeah, that's a plus sign. We can't lose that. So then, what we've what we want is what we want is e to the let's take a quick look at what we what we want here Okay, so we have e to the x, y mm, sine of 2x minus y e to the x, y sine of 2x dx equal to 2 e to the x, y cosine of 2x dx and then 1 half so we have 1 half 
e to the xy sine of 2x minus y e to the xy sine 2x dx is equal to this integral. So now what we have to do is integrate integrate this term. And uh, if we know notice this 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 integral here is the one that that we're interested in solving because it shows up in both of our um, h prime and f. So it looks like we need to integrate by parts again for that sine term. And if we choose u is equal to e to the xy and du equals y e to the xy dx and v equals sine of 2x I'm um, not, I'm sorry. Um, if we choose V to be cosine of 2X, DV equals minus 2 sine of 2X DX. See, it gets to be a little tricky in this. So... We've got e to the x, y, let's move this over a little bit, let's give us some room, e to the x, y, cosine 2x, equals all right u dv so we have minus 2 e to the xy sine 2x dx plus v du y e to the x y cosine 2x dx so e to the x y cosine of 2x is equal to Let's rewrite this so that we got y e to the x y cosine two x dx minus two e to the x y sine two x dx. All right, so now it looks like we've gotten somewhere. This this is an important result because in the function f f of x y equals c equals y e to the x y uh, cosine two x minus two e to the x y sine 2x plus x uh, 2x 2x d 
dx plus h of y, um, we have this equal to that. So then all we have to do is put e to the xy cosine 2x plus 2x dx plus h of y. And this is easy. This is e to the xy cosine 2x plus x squared plus h of y equals a constant. So now we've solved it except for h of y. And we have the solution for h of y. Remember h prime of y is equal to n minus d dy m dx. And in our case, we have h prime of y equals x e to the x y cosine to x minus 3 minus. Now we have d dy of who e dy of y whoops, y e to the x, y cosine 2x minus 2 e to the x, y sine of 2x plus 2x dx. And then when we take that partial derivative, we have h prime of y equals x e to the x y cosine 2 x minus 3 minus okay so now we have to differentiate with respect to y so that's e to the x y cosine 2 x plus x, y, e to the x, y, cosine, 2x, minus 2x, sine, of, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Again, you have to be more careful. e to the x, y, sine, of 2x dx. 2x is, there's no y variable, so that just drops out when you differentiate with respect to y. So now we have to solve this equation, and once we get that, we can solve for h of y, and then solve this solution here. This is the solution and in order to get that solution we have to solve this mess. But again, we know some stuff. First off, we, we know this. We have that up here. So maybe that can be helpful. So, given that we don't have any room on this particular screen, we get another screen. And hope that we copy this down correctly. H prime of Y equals X E to the X Y cos 2x minus 3 minus, now we had 
what was that we had? We had e to the x, y cosine of 2x plus x, y e to the x, y cosine 2x minus 2x e to the x, y sine of 2x and we got to bracket that dx so what do we have what do we have um, we know that let's see e is there anything we can use well we have this right here. We should, because we don't have anything right now that, that we can integrate directly, let's try this, this one first, that term, see what that gives us. So let's go, let's say we choose u equals x e to the x y then du again by integrating by parts we've got e to the x y plus x y e to the x y dx and v if we choose v to be cosine of 2x, we have, let's see, let's see, let's see, where's our integration by parts, we choose All right. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And I, it looks like I chose right. Equals minus 2 sine 2x dx. And that gives us x e to the xy cosine of 2x equals this business UDV, udv so we have x e to the x y um, minus minus 2 uh, sine of 2x dx plus we have e to the x, y, cosine of 2x dx plus x, y. x, y, e to the x, y, cosine, 2 x, dx. And this is, if we expand this out, we have, we have, we have, we have, Let's combine these terms. We have E 
e to the x y cos 2x minus 2x sine of 2x dx plus x y e to the x y cosine to x dx and so we have that middle term um this one the same as this one up there so if we do something like this x e to the x y cos 2x minus e to the x y cos 2x minus 2x sine of 2x dx equal to this term we can plug it back into here this equation and we have h prime you have to be really careful when you do this stuff equals x e to the x y cosine 2 x minus 3 minus now this is let's take a look at this minus e to the x y cosine 2 x minus 2 x e to the x y sine of 2 x dx plus now this is x x e to the x y cos 2 x minus this integral e to the x y cos 2x minus 2x sine 2x dx and so this this whole integral goes out those go out and you end up with h prime of y equals x e to the x y cosine 2 x minus 3 minus x e to the x y cos of 2 x which is equal to minus 3 <laughs> all of that just to get h prime of y equals minus 3 and that means that h of y equals minus 3y and our solution is e to the x y cosine of 2x plus x squared minus 3y equals a constant and that's what that boils down to that's the solution to that problem and it's a bear of a problem, but it, it takes careful looking, observation, trying to find patterns that, that are useful. I guess the one integration I did wasn't even used. But there was an integration by parts that was useful. And we were able to eliminate... two big integrations 
leaving us with this term right here, which then allows us to get h prime of y as a, an exclusive function of y, which is minus 3y. So we had to go through a lot of algebraic work uh, to be able to get to the final end. And I guess the, the, the moral of this problem is uh, not to let the complexity or the size of the problem uh, intimidate you, but work through the problem, use what you know, and try to find the patterns that allow you to come to the final result. You could see that I was hesitant in some of my selections when I started integrating by parts. I chose what I thought would be good um, variables or functions to choose uh, in doing the integration by parts. I, I, I found that integrating by parts was the really the only method available to us to solve those integrals. And luckily, we were able to cancel integrals without having to go through integrating each term by parts. We were able to eliminate terms without having to solve for them. So that, that was the, that was, uh, those were useful observations. So I hope you found this instructive. Um, yeah, it's very difficult sometimes to see these things and to know what you, you know, what whether or not you're choosing correctly. Uh, but it it takes practice, and it and and frankly, uh, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, you have to be careful with signs. You have to be careful with your uh, integration and your uh, derivatives, uh, how to take your derivatives. You could forget a variable, for example. When you take a partial derivative holding, let's say, um, a partial derivative with respect to x, uh, holding the y variable as a constant. So... Those are, those are things that y you can mix up in your mind if you uh, don't pay attention to what you're, you're doing. You know, your mind could be, uh, and this is my problem, your mind is ahead. Your, your mind is two or three, four steps ahead, and uh, you're, you're not really thinking about what you're doing at the moment, and you can easily... Uh, make a mistake when integrating so or taking a partial derivative so those are the those are the uh, tips uh, in solving a problem like this but yeah that that one is a bear <laughs> and actually quite likely something you're going to see uh, on a test because professors like to give problems like this. So be prepared to, to see a problem like this on, a, on an exam. And with that, I wish you um, all the best. And uh, I hope, again, uh, this has been an instructive walkthrough in the solution of uh, that um, that uh, exact equation. <laughs>